The Premier League, as you will so often hear Sky Sports remind you, is supposed to be the best league in the world. That may well be true, depending on your criteria, and one of the reasons often floated about is that players who are brilliant in other leagues have struggled to adapt to life in the Premier League. Of course, on the flip side, there have been players who have flourished in the Premier League and struggled overseas, but it is true that many players have struggled to really find their feet whilst playing in the English game. Since there is little football on our screens right now, I thought we could take a trip down memory lane with an entirely random selection of former Premier League flops, taking a look at how their post-Premier League careers panned out and what they're up to now. And when I say random, as you shall see, I mean totally random. Here are my seven Premier League flops. Where are they now? Borja Valero, Inter Milan. Who can remember Borja Valero playing in the Premier League? Mostly West Brom fans, I would imagine, since for the average football fan, the Spaniards' time gracing our league didn't particularly capture the imagination. Born and raised in the Spanish capital of Madrid, Valera came through the youth ranks at Real Madrid, but only ever played for his hometown clubs B and C teams. He got his first taste of La Liga football following a move to Mallorca, and after just a season based in the Balearic Islands, the midfielder was snapped up by newly promoted Premier League side West Brom and Chelgian. A gifted playmaker and an excellent passer of the ball, Tony Mowbray was initially gushing in his praise of Valero, but his stock fell as the season went on. Valero dropped out of the Baggies 11, with pundits describing him as too lightweight for the Premier League, and West Brom were relegated that season in 20th place. Valero returned to Mallorca on loan before making a permanent move to Villarreal. When Villarreal were relegated, Valero headed to Serie A in a move to Fiorentina, where he made over 200 appearances over the course of five seasons. Valero was excellent in Florence, and in 2017, he joined Serie A rivals in Milan. Even at the age of 35 now, Valero has played in 15 games for the Serie A title hopefuls before this league season was suspended, and it's fair to say he's had an excellent career since getting relegated at West Brom. Lead on Guk, Gionbuk Hyundai Motors. Legendary South Korean centre forward Lead on Guk only spent one full season in the Premier League, but it is one that I will always remember fondly. Not because of anything he did on the pitch, he was pretty useless in that respect, but because I can remember logging into my friend's fantasy football just before the season started and taking out someone like Drogball Rooney and putting lead on Gukin. It could have backfired on me, since the South Korean marksman had been fairly prolific in the K-League, but he couldn't replicate that form during a season and a half with Middlesbrough. Don Gook made 23 Premier League appearances for Borough, failing to score a single goal, although he did back two in 29 in all competitions. With a record like that, it was a little surprise when Don Gook returned to South Korea, and following a very brief stint, a club whose name I can't pronounce, Don Gook joined Gianbuk Hyundai Motors in 2008. More than a decade on, and now aged 40, Don Gook is still starring for Gianbuk, where he has won seven league titles. The four-time K-League MVP has bagged 206 goals in 441 games for Gianbuk, in addition to scoring 33 goals from 105 caps for South Korea although he retired from international football at the tender age of 37. Christian Stuartney, Girona. Staying with forwards who played for Middlesbrough in the Premier League, Christian Stuartney spent two seasons at the Riverside, one in the Championship and one in the Premier League. The Uruguayan international, who has won 50 caps for his country despite competition from the likes of Luis Suarez, Edinson Cavani and Abel Hernandez in his position, joined Middlesbrough from Espanyol for just 3 million euros. Stuani had just bagged 15 goals in a single season for the La Liga side, but he only bagged 7 league goals and 11 in all competitions, as Middlesbrough won promotion to the Premier League. In England's top flight, Stuani scored a brace against Sunderland on the opening day of the season, including a real stunner from range, but scored just 2 goals in the 22 league games that followed. Stuani left Middlesbrough following the club's relegation and returned to Spain with a move to Girona. In his debut campaign, Stuani scored 21 goals in 33 games, trailing only Messi, Ronaldo, Suarez and Aspas in the La Liga scoring charts. The following season, he bagged 20 in 34, again coming 5th in the La Liga scoring charts. Despite his goals, Girona couldn't avoid relegation, and since dropping into the Segunda division, Stuani has scored with even greater regularity. The 33-year-old had found the back of the net 23 times in just 26 games before football in Spain was suspended this season. Diego Forlan, Panerol Manager. By complete accident, there are some lovely segues emerging in this seven, and from fifth to fourth, we are staying with Uruguayan forwards. Diego Forlan may have been born in Uruguay, but he made his professional debut for Independiente in Argentina. Following a couple of impressive seasons with Independiente, Sir Alex Ferguson brought Forlan to Old Trafford in January 2002. He set Manchester United back £6.9 million and joined an attack that could already boast the likes of Ruud van Nistelrooy, Dwight York and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. 
York departed the following summer and Forlan played a whopping 45 games in the 2002-03 campaign. In total, he scored 17 goals in 98 games over three years at United, although he scored just 10 Premier League goals. Despite not being the most prolific and generally being considered a United flop, Forlan retains cult hero status at Old Trafford thanks to the brace he scored in a 2-1 win at Anfield. Ferguson always believed in Forlan's talents and said the forward just didn't compliment Van Nistelrooy. He was vindicated in considering Forlan a top player when the Uruguayan left for Villarreal in 2004. In his first season in La Liga, Forlan scored 25 goals in 38 games. He left the club with a record of 59 goals in 128 games, followed by 96 goals in 196 games across four seasons with Atletico Madrid. A two-time Pekiki Trophy recipient, Forlan was also outstanding for Uruguay at the 2010 World Cup, and he only retired in 2018, aged 38, and now manages Uruguayan powerhouses Penarol. Florian Tovan, Marseille. A rather more recent Premier League flop, I think a number of Newcastle fans remain pretty stunned by the success of Florian Tovan since leaving St James's Park. The dangerous wide man joined the Magpies in 2015 for £15 million from Marseille as fellow Frenchman Remy Cabea headed in the opposite direction. His time at Newcastle was as brief as it was unsuccessful, failing to score in 13 Premier League appearances and receiving criticism from club legend Alan Shearer. Just five months after arriving in the northeast, Tovan returned to the south of France, joining Marseille on loan for the rest of the season. Four months later became a season and a half, as Tovan extended his loan deal with the league and club, and in the summer of 2017, he rejoined them permanently for £9.8 million. In his first season back permanently contracted to Marseille, Tovan outscored both Neymar and Kylian Mbappe, bagging 26 goals in 53 games as one of the most prolific wide players on earth that season. In the summer, he lifted the World Cup with France, and he netted 18 goals last season. This season has seen an injury setback hold his progress, but the 27-year-old has made miraculous strides since being criticised for wearing a tux to a match at St James's Park. Rio Miachi, Saint Pauli Signed by Arsene Wenger following a successful trial at the Emirates in 2011, Japanese wide man Rio Miachi only ever made one Premier League appearance for Arsenal. He made seven appearances in all competitions for the Gunners, failing to find the back of the net. Miachi was loaned out five times by the Premier League side, the most impressive of which was spent in the second tier of football in the Netherlands with John Twente. Miachi's four years in North London came to an end in 2015 when he signed a three-year deal with two Bundesliga side St. Pauli. Now aged 27, and still only having been capped twice by Japan, with both caps coming more than eight years ago now, Miachi is a regular for the famous German club. Incredibly quick, but sadly very injury prone, Miachi hasn't rebounded from flopping in the Premier League quite like Stuani or Fulham, but he is carving out a decent career for himself at a respectable level of European football. Gaston Ramirez, Sampdoria. I said this seven was random, and it was supposed to be, but looking at it now that we come to our last entrant, it does seem to have had a strong Uruguayan and Middlesbrough based feel to it. Gaston Ramirez was a marquee signing for Premier League new boy Southampton when they won promotion to the Premier League under Nigel Atkins in 2012. The gifted playmaker commanded a £12 million fee to prize him from Bologna back when that was still a lot of money. Southampton would flourish in the Premier League, but it was Adam Lallana who took the limelight in the Saints midfield rather than Ramirez. Following two seasons in which he failed to make a really telling impact, Ramirez joined Premier League rivals Hull City on a season long loan in 2014. He again showed glimpses of talent, but failed to string it all together, and didn't particularly fit into Steve Bruce's setup at the KCOM Stadium, as well as getting himself sent off when the Tigers were actually playing pretty well against Tottenham. Next season, he went on loan to Middlesbrough, followed by a permanent move to the Riverside, and that's where Ramirez played his best Premier League football. He still only scored two goals, but one of them against Bournemouth was a terrific solo effort in which he carried the ball three quarters of the length of the pitch. Ramirez left Borough for Sampdoria in 2017, and he has fit in like a glove at the Serie A side. The Italian game is far more suited to Ramirez's style of play, and he's netted 14 goals in 84 games and has been a real creative outlet since joining Claudio Ranieri's side, who were in a relegation battle prior to Serie A being suspended. That's it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and obviously, do make sure you are subscribed and have notifications turned on for HITC Settings.